Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play This Is The Police 2. So, uh, I thought we would get some sort of voiced intro that I'd have to shut up over um, and then to let it play out. But apparently we're starting a little bit earlier than I thought we would. So, This Is The Police 2, shockingly a sequel to the original This Is The Police. A turn-based cop management game, if that makes a lot of sense. Essentially, you'll see as we progress down the, the down the game, it'll, it'll explain everything. I'm, I'm going into the game completely blind, having um, played a little bit of the, of the first one when it was released, and having watched a couple of people play through the, the, entire, uh, the entire first game. So, I uh, haven't touched anything in This is the Police 2, though. This is, this is going to be a completely blind playthrough. Um, approximately at 1 a.m. in the morning, the Sharpwood Police Department received an anonymous call. The source said he knew where we could find the headquarters of the Nec Necties, a gang of drunk uh, drug trafficking, ah, a gang of drug traffickers even that recently arrived in town. Anonymous information is rarely reliable, but for Sheriff Wells, shutting down the Neckies was the department's primary goal. So he sent us. Um, I sent these officers here. At any rate. Um, so you you'll see here that this uh, the game has several stages. The main well, uh, sort of main part of it is managing who goes on patrol when and which cases in the city. Um, so you respond to different calls and uh, you solve all sorts of really problems from really insignificant, mundane, regular, everyday stuff to larger, more complex, and more uh, dangerous cases like this one. And along the way, you also have to deal with um, different types of management. So, for example, your officers. Um, if you know, some of them could get killed, uh, some of them could get tired, some of them could become corrupt. And the same really goes for you as the chief of these, um, or as the... Not sure what the, the title sheriff, I suppose, is. Um, no, I'm not sure what the, what the official title is, but we'll see. But same goes for you. You can accept money from the mob in order for certain favours. You could not do that and risk some of your officers getting shot. So on and so forth. So it is a police management game, basically. And it is pretty damn story rich and um, has a, a very, very interesting sort of... Uh... Does he not see me? No, it has a very interesting... Um... Development, if you will, um, as as sort of you you progress and you get to know your officers and uh, certain things happen to them and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's quite an interesting little title, and this just brings more of the same, pretty much. So uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, get closer. The enemy spots you, he'll raise the alarm during this turn. If the alarm is raised, cops are visible, even if they're behind cover, but cover still makes you harder to hit. Whack the criminal with a baton to the head, or he'll raise the alarm and compromise the whole operation. Stunned and wounded criminals don't resist arrest. Ah! Okay, whack him. And you get closer. And handcuff him. Okay. So as I said, this is completely blind. I've uh, not touched even the tutorial for this game, so I guess we'll learn everything as we um, as we go along here. Now his back is turned. I can shoot him with a taser. Sometimes batons and knives are not enough. The taser is effective at medium range and stuns the offender for several turns, may cause pain and shock. Uh, here's the thing though, does it have a chance to not work? Because tasers often don't work. You know, they don't connect properly, or uh, there's all sorts of things that can go wrong with tasers.
intercept the lookout, okay? What do you want me to do? Stun him? With what? Pepper spray. Oh. Okay. Are they going to be stunned that long? Hmm. Huh. Seems a little bit easy, but okay. And I'm assuming arrested suspects don't have a chance to unarrest themselves, no? Ooh, prepare to breach, okay. We do need to cough him too though, just just don't forget about that. Yeah, there we go. Getting a strong XCOM vibe from this uh, particular part of the game. Okay, this is where you sent me, correct? I did not misclick, no? Um, I kind of... I kind of want to shoot someone. <laughs> it would completely ruin my stealth, which I... We don't want to do that, but... How do I... Aha! We break down the door, and we shoot the culprit. Yes! Excellent. In the head. Oh, I want me to shoot him in the gun. Okay. Fine. Oh, shooting him in the head, though, will, uh... I don't know. Jimmy the window. Is that window called Jimmy? Yes, I know it means lockpick it. Shush. <laughs> and you, on the other hand, have a different approach to things. You break it open. Okay. I mean, you know, each to each their own, I, own, I suppose, but we seem ever so slightly unprofessional when we're doing this. Just saying. And all three of my officers are dead. Because it was an ambush. They were waiting for us. November 21st. But today, I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? Oh, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her since the third grade. I figured she'd moved or died. I, I mean, it's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today, I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, right? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them, and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> it's weird, there's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... I really respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. But I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, uh... <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Don't bother with the change. Mr. Nash, I... Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to say that you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean... He'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm just... Uh, mm. You're horribly oh, insecure is in what you are. <laughs> those uh, cigars you asked about? Mm, uh, Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking... Forget it. 
I don't know how long I'll be staying. Oh, I, uh... I hope... I, I mean, I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer. Oh, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's how would a lot I know? going on. <laughs> Lots of folks are leaving. Even pale Charlie left, and he's even older than you. I, he's 90 or something. Maybe even 100. I... I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? Leave. <laughs> now. I, I mean, have a good... good day, Mr. Nash. Okay. So. Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing tomorrow? Uh, what? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it out for us. Hey, might even get a couple of bucks Whoa. for it. First, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. Maybe a VCR, too. W what do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I thought we could put a snack machine here. You know, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV up, an arcade game, probably even a pinball machine. Speaking of which, my son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. Only thing is, he took all his videotapes with him, so we can't... Oh, no, tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. <laughs> Plus, if we don't it's got this kind of mundane stuff that you really movies, appreciate. Look, I just need you. Hey, what kind of you know, you in got? between all your officers getting shot. Bloody shirt, bloody shirt two, oh, my fault. bloody shirt three, bloody shirt four, hard-boiled women, demons on Fifth Avenue. And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean, so he makes a deal with Satan, and Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons and a skeleton general. You can't. Fuck with him. Yeah, that's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> Goes without saying, that's every man's favorite movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> when I saw him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I, I swear <laughs> to God. You need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets the ability to undress people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to her. <laughs> tomorrow. We'll just discuss it tomorrow. And she says there's some problem with this quarterly report. Some kind of paper got filed and wrong, and, and he asks... What the hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, we'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. <sighs> Lily, you do know. You don't have to be such a bitch, right? Bad Ears gas station closes in half an hour, so if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. <laughs> and if I come into work in a bad mood, Just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First, read what you've got so far. Of course, we won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of material gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything <laughs> from the beginning. Lily, come on. We're Read it from the top. Dear Captain Carter, 
I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood All right. was deprived. That's enough. I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> Lily, let's just finish it. And then... They got him! The guy from the flower shop, remember? He's one of the neckties. We're sure this time. Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Hey, you want to find out? Or are you just going to sit there? <clears throat> well, I mean, there's not much input I can provide, I'm afraid. Yet. This has mostly just been a passive watching exercise, but still. What happened to him? Well, as far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car either. And he really didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him, wow, that was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he accidentally- Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked the direct question, and I'm trying- Get out! All of you! Lily, I think it'd be best if you just- What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't you think? Okay, guys, you hear that? Let's get out of here. Mm. I feel like if I were given an option to choose some dialogue, I think that'd be ever so slightly more interesting here. Go down different paths from the beginning, but I suppose I'm not even in command yet, am I? I say that literally before it happens. All right, I should work in game design, apparently. <sighs> I know it was someone in your gang that murdered Sheriff Wells. Just tell me who pulled the trigger, and maybe we'll let you go. Not gonna happen. You and your friends lured Sharpwood's sheriffs into an ambush and killed him like a bunch of cowards. Yeah, that's right. You and your necktie gang. Can you even imagine how hard we're coming down on you? Not really, because the department is falling apart, um, and I'm pretty sure he's aware of that. You're from around here, right? I'm sure you heard of Sher- uh, let's, let's go with the more civil option. No, I'm not from around here, and this is the first time I'm hearing about this sheriff of yours. First time I've, been, I've seen you too. Why, well, I was some kind of secretary? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about something else. The drugs, where you keep them. I'm not leaving here until you tell me where your hideout is. Where do you keep the drugs? We're not getting much out of him, are we? I could at least hide the suitcase. What? Oh, this? It's just... Charlie, shut your trap and get ready to question the suspect. What does he have, like... I just want... I just want you to... You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? I know, Lily. I know. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. I was gonna say, why you illiterate? You not write it on your own? What's with the suitcase? Torture tools? I won't put it past them. Yes, 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 come on. Hello, my name is Bogdan. Are you satisfied with your water supply system? I bet you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh... Uh, excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, 
and by then you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you well, your name's Bogdan, so yes, I you. believe you do. Look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything, while you will enjoy the new toilet in warmth and comfort. Are you, uh, are you, are you selling toilets? You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. We'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is, well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> at night. You're right. I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, our farm is just taking its first steps in this business, so I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand your needs, sir. I myself had to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please go. Just... Just go. I want you to leave. I know what you're thinking. You think that in such a small house there's simply no room for a toilet. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both of us some time, that's all. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to... Do not shoot the nice communist. You the capitalist. And think, Damn, that guy was right. A toilet in the house is what every adult man needs. So, why don't I've we... asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Leave. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm telling you right now, you won't last a week. Are you gonna have a heart attack or something? This is what old age feels like. I don't want to get old. Don't empty the gun if you're that bloody paranoid. Because next time someone knocks, it may not be Bogdan. Dead Dylan Oliver and Edgar, I'd give you everything I'd give everything to be sitting with you. Watch of our old house smoking a cigarette, taking and passing the day. They have a lot of questions for me, a lot of unpleasant questions. It's not hard to hear them in my head, but it won't be so easy to find the right answers. Is it true what they're saying about you? Ah, so this is like, uh, based on the first game, right. My only crime was waiting to take care of myself, was wanting to take care of myself and my family. I was just sorry it took, I'm just sorry it took me that long. Or, my crime was I trusted the wrong people. I was used and then thrown in the trash. Go with this one. Why did you flee from Freeburg? It's not that I ran away, I just needed time to regroup so I could go back and clear my name. Sometimes retreat is the only way to victory. I ran because I didn't want to be killed in prison. I know so much about every influential scoundrel in the city that they would never let me live to see my day in court. Uh, this one's more interesting, let's go with that one.
why did mom really leave? Um, because she decided she wanted to fuck some 30 year old insurance agent. I hope he gave her exactly what she wanted. Cold. Sally, your grandmother once told me that I'm too old. That I don't have any energy. And that's why Laura left. I didn't really understand what she meant at the time, but now it seems to me she hit the nail on the head. Um, go with a more bitter response, I think. Uh, this just seems more me, honestly. Does it seem more like the character? I don't know. We're building him, apparently. Did you have an affair on the side, too? <laughs> I like the painting. Or the drawing, sorry. I really like the drawing. I wouldn't say that. For one thing, your mother had already left, and it's strange to call a relationship between two people an affair if they only talked on the phone and never met. Or, it was your mother who had the affair. Everything that happened to me later was just an amusement, a naive love fantasy that never became a reality. In any case, it's over. My amusement wants to put me in jail. Let's go with this one. Yes, wants to put me in jail. I, honestly, it's been ages since I've uh, seen the first game. I've completely forgotten the, the storyline for it, so... Nah. Why did you get in bed with the Mafia? So it's not if you got in bed, why did you? Um... I didn't go to them, they left me no choice. When they threatened to hang your children's heads from a chandelier, you do exactly what they ask of you. No hesitation, no questions. I only got in with them before because the Mafia can't be defeated, only controlled. And looking at how well I controlled crime in Freeburg, I say, um, I like this. I really, really like this. Um, because as... <sighs> how do I put this? Look, Godfather... 1, and Godfather 2 and 3, but prim primarily Godfather 1 is like, in my modest opinion, one of the greatest movies humanity's ever created, right? And La Cosa Nostra is pretty damn well portrayed there, I don't, I don't know exactly how accurately, but it's fascinating. And I like to, to sort of live in this world, at least in this video game, because honestly, I don't know. I haven't lived in the time, and I can't tell you anything about La Cosa Nostra, right? But what I can tell you about it is that it's really damn fascinating to me. So I want to build this world of um, of the Mafia like so. Um, how close is it to reality? I don't care. I'm building a fantasy here. Did you kill people? Um, yes, absolutely. I mean, have you seen me? <laughs> I didn't kill anyone with my own two hands, but I gave odors that led to some deaths. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I wanted to shoot the one of the suspects in the head prior to that. Maybe I should have. Who knows? How is your health? Ooh. Uh, again, the drawings are fucking phenomenal. I feel good, despite parting with your mother, fleeing from the feds, and surviving two comas. One thing I'm not sure... One thing I know for sure, I won't survive a third. Ugh, I want to bring a little bit of life into this character, because I'm going to stick with him for the rest of the game, and playing a really tired, old, half-dead man is not going to be that fun. I'm not complaining, but I'm lonely. I'm afraid I'm not going to make any new friends here. Either way, new friends at my age don't lead anywhere except another funeral. Let's go with that one, because it doesn't talk about his comas. More about his psychological health. Why didn't you just retire? Because I wanted to see the end of the game. I catch criminals, that's all I know. It's all I'm good at. I didn't retire because I loved my job, and I wasn't too old to keep doing it. Seems very sensible. What's the other one? Well, because I had nothing else to do. All I had left was an empty house and a dirty barn. Well, what was I going to do? Farming? All my tools lost a long time ago. After a week of retirement like that, I would put a bullet in my forehead. I like this one better. It's, more, it's a bit more macabre. I like this one. What are you afraid of? Ooh. Okay. I'm afraid I'll be caught, locked in a cage, and put on display like a circus freak, and the only power I'll have left is to bash my skull on the... Mm, not really. Um, I'm afraid I won't have the chance to clear my name, or even explain myself before the law, before Freeburg, and most importantly before you. Uh, yeah, this is more like a family-oriented thing, yep. That definitely, it's, it's a lot better. It's, uh, the wording is a hell of a lot better as well. What are you planning to do next? Ooh. 
I've changed a lot, though predictably, predictability is still not among my vices. I now have to do something. The question is how far I'll have to go. I can't tell you. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I, even I don't know what I'll have to decide ten seconds from now. Uh, this one is worded better, but it's very similar. Hmm. You might want to leave the alcohol because, uh, well, two comas and all that. Which I, I know we don't talk about those, but still. We could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. <laughs> phase three is where we I'm don't have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. It's north of here, the old summer camp. But they never keep the goods at their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Most of the time, these places have random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. Mm. You remember that little tavern called Forsetti? We went drinking there after graduation and broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. Two weeks ago, an old man moved in. And under his floorboards, there's 27 kilograms of heroin. I'm starting to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. I bet there's four or five armed guards at the house. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. I don't believe they just well, let me guess. The house Even if there is, an old is where man, Jack is living. Hey, oh, I mean, lives the old actually. Man is just a nickname. What do you think? I bet he's a right cutthroat, hunkered down there. Ready to ambush us. Maybe he already... Well, you and Corey, go check it out. Take two cars in case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there, bring them in. And don't forget about the heroin. Rest of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. Sound good to you? I'd like to go into the house if given the option to. Again, like the, the chief here has absolutely no authority. This is ridiculous. Calls. Okay, ooh, let's go. Uh, all events that require your attention are displayed in the Sharpwood map and by card in the cards list. Drug trafficking, Forsetti Tavern. Okay. Each call has a minimum professionalism requirement. To ensure that your cops go on a call, their overall professionalism must meet the minimum requirement by the call. So, must meet it. Okay. Gotcha. Uh... I do not have in. I do. I. I so it, it needs to meet. It doesn't need to exceed. Okay. And I can't put a schnipur on on the case, unfortunately. But uh, okay, let's do it. Send two of them out. I'm assuming this is going to be heavily scripted, so let's uh, just tag along for the ride, I suppose, for now. But it is a very good intro to what we're going to be doing. Yep, called it. <laughs> Gun. Better to watch the goods? Oh, they just didn't bother. Or are we missing something? What do you think, Corey? Think we're missing something? Huh? Is there some kind of special meaning to the fact that we've got drunk, dirty grandpa here sitting in the shack watching the goods? Maybe we need to crack the code here, huh? Well, any ideas where they hid the powder? How about you look around while I. <laughs> while I interrogate the suspect, huh? 
You. What's your name, old man? Boy. What did you say, old man? You need to answer nice and clear when a police officer speaks to you. My name is uh, Nash. Warren Nash. I'll I, uh... tell you something, Warren Nash. Fifteen years on the force. I've seen all sorts of dirty shits. This town isn't exactly upscale, in case you haven't noticed. I've caught thieves, caught rapists, murderers, and drug traffickers. All part of the job, you know? I'm doing my job. Nice and easy, like a professional. But here you are. This... this filth, you're... You don't make it easy to be easy. Really? It's like you drives me up the wall. With scum like you, I can't... I... I just can't keep up the cold-blooded professional attitude. I just can't. You know why, Warren? Because... Oh, I'm sorry, Warren. I'll be just a second, all right? Shit, Charlie! What the hell? Do you want Corey, to... just look for the fucking drugs while I'm busy with the fucking suspect, okay? How the hell did so you get Warren, recruited? Filthy things like you, you drive me nuts. Because you think that we'll never catch up with you. You think the police can't do anything? You think we just rescue cats from trees and help old old ladies carry their bags up to the porch? And yes, you will you, literally you do that in this game. You believe? <laughs> you really, really believe that we'll never get to you, so you don't even have to try. You taking good care of the goods here, Warren? You ready for us here, Warren? Just waiting in ambush, Warren? You did fucking nothing, Warren! Fucking nothing! Because you thought we'd never come. But here I am, Warren. Here I am! What are you gonna do now, Warren? What's the big plan, Warren? Hey, I think I found something. You hear that, Warren? He found something. Next time, hide it better. Well, this looks like 27 keys of heroin to you? I... I would say there's somewhere between 26 and 28 keys. Well, well, th well, that sounds like 27, right? Yep. Mm. Yep, looks like 27. So Let me guess, there's more. You load it up in the car and I'll pack up the old man. And any of this other junk we might need. Um. I'm sort of assuming they're going to take a little bit for themselves and sell it, but not the type, I suppose, eh? I'd like. Uh, I need. I. I really need to talk to the sheriff as soon as possible. I'm Sheriff Reed. You can talk all you like, but if I were you. I'd wait for my lawyer, Mr. Nash. I don't, uh... You... You said you're the sheriff? That's what I said. I, uh... No, no. I'm just... I, are you Sharpwood, Sheriff? I'm the sheriff. You, uh... You could... Do you have the authority to... Look, I'm wearing a shiny star on my chest. I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, and even though I'm exhausted, I'm poring over murder files that no one else wants to bother with. So yeah, I'm the sheriff. I may not be used to all this, and I'm not sure I ever will be, but I don't have another sheriff for you, Mr. Nash. You <laughs> might as well accept it. Listen, Sheriff... Uh, sheriff Reed, right? Great, Sheriff Reed. Uh, I need to talk to the sheriff, and, and you're the sheriff, so... It's even better. I, I mean, older sheriffs sometimes. Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I uh, get to the fucking point, or don't speak until you know what you're gonna say. And I want to help you out here because I, yeah, because uh, there was a huge batch of cocaine hiding in your house. You want me to believe you didn't know anything about it? I rent that house. Only lived there a couple of weeks, and you, you know all that, right? It's easy to check, huh? Yeah, it's uh, 
but but that's not important. It's it's not that I, uh, I I'm trying. Listen, Sheriff Reed, you. Like I said, formulate a sentence and then say it. I'm a policeman, just like you. The man you doth know? protest too much. So you must be bring out Shakespeare on you a little bit. No, 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 no. That's it's much more complicated than that. My name isn't Warren Nash. I, yeah, I already knew that. Your fake documents are so bad they practically fell apart in my hands. If you, if you let me explain, I. <laughs> would you like to see my real document, Sheriff? Look. That humidor, you see it? What? That little box, the, the little wooden box on the table, see? Looks like a jewelry box. It's locked. We'll crack it open in the morning. Oh, wouldn't you rather open it now? Please, Sheriff Reed, let's open it now and, and I'll try to explain everything. I'm in a very difficult situation and I'm asking you to listen to me. Just open the box and you'll find my passport in there, my real passport. My name's Jack Boyd. The documents that say I'm Warren Nash, I bought them for 90 bucks at the rail station. Please, just open the box and I'll explain everything, please. You say you were a cop, huh? Yes, 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 I, I was a cop. I, I was the chief of police, just like you. Look, it's a very long and complicated story, but I... I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Well, and, you and forged documents, you're stashing cocaine. The fact that I'm here at all, it's a, it's an injustice that I want to correct. And I'm asking you to help me. I mean, I get what you're saying, but... It's not that persuasive. Though, offering the key to the box right in front of her, that is... That'll eat a man out. That I admit. How do they not take the key from you, though? I... I suspect you were searched before you were thrown into the cell otherwise you could have you know taken a gun with you into that cell or do I not want to know where you hid it sheriff sheriff Reed let's talk I'm begging you Well, you fucked up. <laughs> Coffee's getting cold, though. Can I make this go faster? No, I can just skip. Sheriff Reed, let me... Do you even know what you've been accused of, Mr... Mr. Boyd? I, let, let's just say I... I don't know if you know what happened in Freeburg last winter, but it had nothing to do with the law or justice. I was used... You come to me asking for justice. Uh, I'm gonna go defense. and rewatch The Godfather. Know. Sheriff Reed, if you do this, you... You just continue this, I think... I believe that cops should help each other, so... I just wanna say... You seem like the kind of person We've who... known each other for five minutes, Mr. Boyd. Very I good point. I doubt very much that I've made any impression on you at all. Whatever you've got yourself mixed up in, I hope that... I hope that you find justice. If that's that really is when you want, go to Don Corleone. Right. But while I... For now, or all as I they say, this, you're a criminal, Bar and they're it. looking for you. Bar Bar say. Your... Your folder. Your folder. That's a case file. Can, can I see it? Excuse me? I worked as a detective for years. Even when I was chief, I did half of my detective's work. If you... If you're having trouble with the case, I'm sure I can help. You're gonna... Cops should help each other. Is this gonna be the rest of the game? I'm gonna words, right? work from this cell. You think... You, you think that I... Listen, Sheriff Reed, what do you have to lose? You're the head of this police department. You've gotta think rationally. I'm not trying to teach you how to do your work. I'm just... Well, just for a minute, forget about all that, the other, this whole awkward situation, okay? Right? Well, the fact that you've you been arrested and charged with multiple accounts of breaking the law. Right in front of you who's offering to help. Maybe I'm an imposter and I can't actually do anything. Maybe I'll even turn out to be a lunatic, scatter the file around the cell and dance around like a wild monkey. But maybe, just maybe, I really am an experienced cop who can help you find your killer. Don't you want that? Don't you want to give me a chance since you've got nothing to lose? 
So, I mean, you don't really do that because then everyone could do that. It's not really how the, how it should work, but uh, look, a drowning man is a man that grasps even for the tiniest of straws, so yes. I guess I'm going crazy. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's actually a very good explanation. Okay. Tell you what, though, um, there's been quite a long intro to the game, and uh, I will leave you here, and next time we will um, try and solve this case and get ourselves out of this jail cell, hopefully. Until then, though, like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned with the rest of the series, and uh, until next time, have fun, take care, and bye bye